Okay, in this video, I'm going to walk you through on how to get started with our website builder and some of the logic behind our system and just really, you know, get you going to where you can get to the next stages uh, within uh, building a website in our platform. So there's two sections to build a website within our platform. One, you can build it here under CMS funnels. This is more for one off sites that you're doing. You're starting from a theme or importing your own site. And then the other section is under templates funnels. This is where you're building a template, basically a base site that you can reuse in various different ways. Maybe you want to deploy a bunch of near me websites. Maybe you want to deploy sites for a franchise or agent based organizations. Maybe you want to create some niche specific sites such, such as maybe you service, you know, landscapers and you want to build, you know, five really awesome landscaping websites and you want to start from there each time you configure it for your client. You know, such as changing the color scheme, changing the content, the logo. It's much easier to start with something that's already proven, right? Or you may want to offer something really easy for your client to customize from their profile and using our custom profile tags and things like that. So that's where you build those. And I'll talk about that later if you haven't watched some of the other videos. But if you build something here in the CMS section and you want to ever make it a template, you can easily just convert that to a template by clicking this menu option here. So to get your funnel into this section, or at least start your website, you're gonna click this button here, create new funnel, and you're presented with several different options here. This theme right here, blank imports, this is only if you're importing your own website. You should not use this if you're import, if you're you know trying to build off of something we have existing here. This is if you have a website you wanna bring in, or maybe you purchase a theme somewhere, and you just want to bring it into our platform and our, you know, have the builder work with that site. Uh, there's training videos on how to do that. But if you're not importing your site, don't ever worry about this theme here. These other themes, think of them as when you go and buy a theme from one of these theme providers, they have, you know, pre-built pages, they have content in there, they have content blocks, and you kind of mix and match to build your own site. That's the concept of our CMS. So we provide you with several different home pages, several different pages and content blocks. Uh, so you can kind of organize your conversion architecture and quickly build out a site and then customize it, you know, the design and, and kind of make it as unique as possible. We also have a bootstrap theme. This bootstrap theme is just bootstrap version five. It has some font awesome uh, includes in it and also jQuery. But you, if you purchase a theme that's bootstrap, you may want to start with this if it's Bootstrap version five, because it's just so much easier just to apply the customized CSS files on the import. I know I'm probably talking over some people's heads, but if you do have a Bootstrap version five theme that you're trying to import, you could start from this opposed to the blank imports, but either one uh, work great. You also have this custom templates tab. This is when I talked about the templates. This would be anything that you've built in the template section. You can also role base that so certain users can only see those specific templates, templates that you've uh, built. And that's where you would uh, do that. You would click on custom templates to access that. And you can always go back to the clone templates. So I'm going to start with the bootstrap version. So I'm going to just call this sample site. And then workspaces, this would be if you haven't watched the video on workspaces, workspaces allow you to share assets with uh, user roles or clients or, or users, uh, team members. And you can also organize all your assets based on a workspace. In this example, I'm not going to choose a workspace. I'm just going to hit clone. This will create your site. Like I said, if you are using one of the themes that have multiple pages and multiple home pages, it'll actually create all those pages for you and give you access uh, to go in and start customizing those and deleting whatever you don't want to use. Just real quick on a few things here, you have a preview option here, so you can go out and see what the website looks like. Uh, you also have the settings. So settings would be more of, and I'll cover this in, in other videos of all the different options you have on settings. You also have the um, builder, which I'll show you in just a second. Asset manager, this is where you can load up folders, a bunch of files, especially if you're importing you know, a theme into, into our system. This is much easier to use the asset manager than our normal file manager. Uh, you also have uh, make it a template. And then this is add collab. What this is is workspaces means that anybody who's uh, either a collab user on the workspace or a user role in the workspace, they have access to every asset you create inside the entire workspace. 
Sometimes you may only want them to have access to just one asset, and that's where you would add a collab user. I can actually just pick one of my users and they'll see this website as if they created it inside their back end. That's very helpful if you're working with different contract designers or things like that, and you want to apply a site to that designer or your client uh, just so they have visibility into access in the site. Uh, you can do that uh, within here. And of course, you can delete it. So I'm going to go into the builder. You can get into the builder by clicking this the actual image here, or you can click on the builder tab here. And so this is what the builder looks like. Um, one thing to note about our builder, and you've probably used similar tools, but if you're not familiar with HTML, every element, such as this image, is wrapped with divs and sections, and there's just several layers of code that's wrapped around each of your assets within what you're seeing here. And so our system picks up all of those layers. And so anytime you click on a layer, you're presented with multiple options here, and I'll explain those. Uh, you also have options over here that you can customize. You can double click into an asset and it'll give you different options. Uh, you have these options over here as far as configuring um, you know, your styles and, and your design elements. But everything, basically what you see, you click on and you have different elements. You also have elements you can't see. So, you know, for more advanced users, you may want to access those layers. You can access those layers in different ways. You can click here to go up a layer until you find the layer that you want. By the way, on this content tab, this will show you the layers that you're going to and they change. But you also have this section over here where you can really drill down to every single layer within the code uh, to find what you want. And it'll take you exactly where you are. And as long as you select it, you can now alter whatever you want to do with it. Uh, we also have theme sections. So there's little parts within this builder that save uh, instantly and you'll get a little green notification up here. And then there's parts here that you have to actually hit the save button. So for instance, on the theme tab here, if I want to change the color to whatever I want, um, this is all your different colors that are, you know, control the bootstrap theme. So you have all different options of changing every element of the theme. You also have your fonts you can change. But you'll see this little green bar up here saying data saved. I don't have to hit the save button for these parts of it. It's already saved. I just hit refresh and that's pulling in my theme attributes. Same thing applies for the raw code editor, the style editor, the head editor, and the scripts editor. These are designed to allow you to freely customize and alter sites and take a look at your live site and change without having to click a save button. For most users, it's it's probably not saving you much time because you're not doing it. But for advanced users, when you're coding, especially live coding, uh, you know you don't have to worry about hitting a save button and all that other stuff. However, if you're going to use this builder part where you're making changes inside this area, any change that you make, including the live code editor, you have to hit the save button. That way, you can pick up your changes. So. Every little element in here, you can alter. Again, little things pop up over here, and each one of my videos to follow will show you what all these mean, but the way our concept of our builder works is you know, anything you click on. So for instance, let's say I wanna add something in here. Well, if I add it, it'll show up inside this box because I'm in that box. So I wanna go up, and now I'm at this box. I can click this little icon here, and I have several different options. I have before, so I can place whatever I want before what's highlighted. I can place whatever I want after that's highlighted. I can wrap whatever I'm inserting around that. That's helpful if you're inserting links or things like that. I can also replace, so I can completely take away what I have here. And I can also place inside, which will go inside this actual box here. So you have different options. Just be conscious of what you have selected here. Uh, we have page kits. So each one of these are, you know, the Bootstrap version five elements here. You can also go out to Bootstrap's, um, you know, different samples they have, and you can embed that code and videos to follow. You'll see how to do that. But if you want something here, let's say I want to put, you know, another box or another element inside here, I can just pick out which one I want. And let's say I want uh, this one, I can just select it and it'll show up below. And then you have several different options of customizing this. Maybe you want some additional padding. 
you know, you can come over here and, and apply our margin and come over here and apply maybe 50 margin, just to kind of separate it. And so you have different options that you can do here. Uh, another thing you have is anything that you've made changes, you can come over here and look at your responsiveness. And this is just resizing based on device. So if I come in here and change this and I make a change here, it's only applying to the layer that I'm in or the view that I'm in. So if you want a different, maybe you want this to go a little bit lower on mobile or on laptop, uh, anything you make a change here will apply to that version that you're on for that view. In this case, I'm just gonna go back to desktop. And so you have several different options you have in here to add, right? So you have these page kits, depending on the theme, you may see hundreds of these page kits. With the bootstrap, uh, these are just kind of the bare minimum here uh, to build out. And then you also have uh, global blocks. Global blocks are essentially things that you can build uh, within the platform. Uh, so for instance, I'm gonna go ahead and save this, hit save. And global blocks are basically reusable content blocks. And I have a video to watch and explain that, but let's say you have an internal navigation or even your navigation here, right? You don't have to keep updating your navigation every time you make a new page or make changes. You know, you can wrap that as a global block. Our system automatically creates the global blocks for you on the header and footer of your site. So those are already global blocks when you save the first time. So you'll see when I click here, I have global blocks already built. I have my global header and my global footer. Most of the time, you're never gonna alter those or need to use these. Uh, they're there if you need to. Maybe you're creating a page and you wanna bring back your navigation or something like that. Uh, any change that you make, no matter what page you're on, uh, will update those global blocks. And so watch that video to really understand the global block side of it. You have uh, various different, by the way, you can see that this layer is under here. And so sometimes it's hard to get to the little plus sign. You can click it there as well if you can, if there's a layer above that layer. Uh, so that's page kits, global blocks. You also have different components. Um, you know, everything from adding an image to a table to a card. Um, pretty much everything that you're going to need to kind of build out whatever elements you have within these blocks. And then we also have widgets such as embedding a Google map, embed uh, various different videos or code. And you also have data forms, which if you have watched the data forms, that's our embed forms. And then blogs, you know, you can bring in your blog feed uh, directly here in these widgets. So watch the videos on each of these components um, to get a better understanding of that. You can also add pages over here. So there's two different ways to add a page. You can create a nav group. This is essentially just a nav item that is grouping your pages this is more for organization purposes, but it does create a hierarchy for your link strategy. Uh, so you'll see it grouped over here and in, inside here. So if I did, you know, services and hit create group, now I have my group over here, um, services, but I don't have any pages under it. So I click new page and then you have an option of copying a template and selecting you know, your services and let's just call it um, remodeling and I'm gonna hit create. And so now I have a page called remodeling, which I'm in and it cloned my homepage. What's great about this is now after you have your homepage built and you, you know, created out your page, you now whenever you create each of your services pages, you can start from there, right? So what's, it just makes it super easy of starting from a page that's already created. So you don't have to, you know, redesign that page or copy the code over or anything like that. You can just start from an existing page. Um, so that's the pages section. And in addition to that, you have, again, like I said, you have several different options over here under the style section, uh, your content changes and images, any image you click on, you'll see an icon up here to upload new image. Uh, what else would be helpful before we start going into the actual building of the site? So that's pretty much it. I mean, the walkthrough uh, you do have, and this is important. So depending on the size of your screen, this may be all scrunched up because it's all responsive. If you're on a smaller uh, device uh, working in here, you can always make this bigger. You can click here and that's going to make your screen bigger. You can also remove these panels. You can click on this panel here and it'll remove it. Uh, you can click on this panel and I'll remove that whole side panel, or you can remove this top panel to kind of give you more room. This panel here, if you click, this will take you to those main sections 
that I'm talking about um, quickly getting to. And then of course, you have each individual layer there. You have a full screen option. So you can click full screen and I'll bring you out to full screen. You have uh, various different options when it comes to importing themes, um, not important for this demo. And of course you have the preview option, just to kind of take a look. And this allows you to not have to worry about, you know, um, the builder popping up while you're looking at it. Lastly, the settings. So to access settings, and I guess I'll show you how to delete. If you're inside a page, you can click the delete icon here. This will allow you to delete that page. There's also a section within the settings that you can access all your pages. And again, I have videos kind of walking you through each of the settings, but you want to get to the settings, you click settings. If you're inside a page, this is actually your page settings. Uh, you have different tabs here, and then you also have like the total settings for this website, which have various different other tabs. And we'll talk about those in other videos. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to move into the next stage, which is actually building out the website and using some of the things I've showed you.